Hey guys, welcome back to Predatory Fins. Right now I'm gonna bring you inside and I wanna show you just a couple of fish that we got. Don't get so close, babe, don't get so close. Usa. Cause you know, we got too many sensitive people out there. We gotta, you know what I mean? Am I right? Yes. You think they're being a little sensitive with me today? No, there's a lot of perfect people that are coming. And a lot of what? Perfect people. Perfect people, okay. I wish I was that perfect people. But for the rest of you that do enjoy predatory fins the right way, not the sassy way. Hey. What? Come on, what are we doing today? We, you saw as on the last videos unboxing how of a pain it could be for us to receive these fish, put them away and take water out, put water in. So I was, talk, I was, saying, I was talking to Kevin actually, and I was like, you know what, why don't we make something that is easy, cheap, and fast, but effective, okay? So Kevin and I are gonna, gonna do a little challenge with each other. I already built mine, and it's the easiest thing in the world. Check it out. All I did, styrofoam, drain, done. So I have a four-wheeler, it's actually right here, a long one. What I'm gonna do when all those shipments come in, I'm gonna line these up, right? Are you hot? Yeah, like right inside. Of course you're hot, that's why I married you. There we go. Better? Okay, so we're gonna line them up just like that. And then, the only thing I have to finish it up is get these this holes right here with the fresh water and make an attachment to line up to all these boxes and uh, drip water on them. Well, a little bit faster depending on the fish. Some of them can drip, some of them are gonna be just running water. And I, we don't have to scoop the water out anymore, babe. Look at it. It's already just gonna drain right out. I mean, come on, that's genius. Can't wait. So, let's see what Kevin's gonna come up with. Now just gonna see this video. He's probably gonna try to build like a car or something out of this and remote control. You never know. But real quick, let's just see what we got in today. Oh, I got a lot of people waiting for these guys. You know what those are, babe? Okay, let's take them out one by one. Oh, let's see what this is. It's a pretty big fish. Oh, okay. So I think these are all in here. And these are Indu tarpon. Now, the Atlantics are not allowed in Florida. The Indu tarpons are. So check it out. See, the water's already draining, right? And I put the water a little bit higher. I mean, I put this drain a little bit higher so the fish still have about an inch to be able to swim. But back up a little bit, babe. Look at this. We gotta get the hose. Like I said, it's not done yet. It's not done yet. It's a work in progress. It's a work in progress on this mess. Okay, so basically this is what it's gonna be. No water coming in, old water draining out, come on. Like why didn't I think about stuff like this before, you know? It'll make my life so much easier. What do we always say? Work harder, not smarter. No. Work smarter, not harder. There you go. I got it. What else do we get? So, look at, look, just look at it. How, how, many, how many shipments have we done? Over like 200? What do you think this deserves? Dun, ta da! Dun, da da! <laughs> uh, no, with a little more emotion, please. I'll leave that up to you. Yeah. I'm not doing that. You and your little lovely stuff. Okay, so now I don't have another one, and that's the problem. <laughs> but we can probably make one real quick, and you guys can probably do the same thing at home. Where we got these at, babe? Those are from Amazon, actually. Amazon, and they're called? Hold on, whoa. Lifeguard Aquatics. They have all Credit different sizes. Credit suction screen, that's what it's called. Yeah, they have all different sizes, so that's really good. So you get that in, like this. Now, where and then you put it? We gotta put it on the inside. So you just go, you know, let's say, if you wanna do a couple tall ones for the big fish, so you just screw it right in there. Then you gotta get a knife. 
I guess we, we weren't really that prepared, huh? Let me get a knife real quick. Now guys, be careful when doing this. Don't cut your finger. I have an idea that this gotta be around here somewhere. So once I find it, yep, right in the middle. I'll just take the styrofoam out. Then you just nice. didn't work. Make sure that this process is done before you, before your fish comes in. There you go. Perfect box. And you put that back in there. Now you want to make sure the hole is not too big, so so it can fit properly. Right? Correct. Okay. So look at that. Tarpon all acclimating. The water is turning white and then blue, so it's right. filtering out. We don't have to worry about it. It's like, golly. Let me put this in here. Sorry, phone call. Always. Hey, Shane. You calling me? Not dial? All right. <laughs> All right, so let's get this guy out. He's already poking the bag, look at that. Now, I'm gonna have to first, on this one, let me get this water in here. Oh. Because he's a bigger fish. There you go. You know what that is? Um, nope. Me neither, I think it's a green Texas. But see, look, now he's got enough space, space and the water's going to start draining. So, I, for me, I know how hard it is for us to get all these fish and, and acclimate. This is genius. And it's easy. You know, you can stack them up. You can just remove that, stack them up. Let's bring a little bit back to the tarp in here. Look at that. Come on. I deserve a round of applause, you know? I want to hear from you guys. All right, cool. uh, and I'm telling you, Kevin's going to watch this and he's going to... I don't even know what he's going to do. He's probably going to have like a bunch of fish tanks for the remote control and an operated battery that does it all by itself and a robot to open the bags. All right. Ooh, we still got more fish in here. So... These guys that can probably acclimate it all together. I'm just gonna open this and then I'll build another one later. But these right here, I believe are the a Tabapo Pike. Let me put both of them in there. Stealing my water, bro. Really pretty fish. All right. I think the tarpons are good to go. Let me get some more water on this guy. You see how easy that is? Now imagine when I have a system, right? That should probably attach on the wall and I'll pull the hose this way, and each individual one will have his own valve. Oh, yeah, like two years ago? Yeah. Better late than never. Uh, all right, and now this one right here is probably my favorite on the whole shipment. I gotta figure out where we're gonna put them. I'll probably put it with the, with the green Texas. So, these guys are, the Melanistic Tropical Guard. Oh. I had one sold on pre-order, so I ended up bringing two. Look how cool they are. 
Really nice, right? Yeah. So as he acclimates, his colors will come back. And that's it, as easy as that. All right, let's see this guy. Oh yeah, this is a good size too. Look at him. So they, they put this blue medicine on the water to relax the fish. And that's why I don't want to just take them from the water that they're in and just throw in all water. I like to acclimate slowly. Man, I love this idea. I think it's gonna, I just spooked the fish out. I think it's gonna be great once we have it all done. It's gonna make our backs and our life. Yeah, look at that. The tanks, they go once they're ready. Yeah. And literally, we can just leave them right here, line up. Water drain, water coming in. Come back 30 minutes, put them away. Done. Now, Kevin, let me see what you got. Was that good? Just have to do it again. Kevin, do better than that. Okay, I think they're ready to go. These two are ready to go. I mean, I gotta acclimate this one. Oh, look. A little, a little straggler. <laughs> what is that? It's a little yellow fish. Oh, he's fast. I think it was food for these guys. And he must have made it through. He's so cute. Where is he? What is that? I'm sure some people know. Guys, in the comments below, let me know what you think this fish is. But it's pretty cool, it's a little orange. You wanna save them or feed them? Where are we gonna put them? Let's put them over here. Oh, I'm afraid that the... Oh, damn, all right, let's try to find a tank for him. It's our mission right now. Very first hand pool pond. First guy that did it. <laughs> oh, it looks like a little uh, sword tail. Right? Okay, now we gotta find a house for oh, these tarpons. Some of them look skinny though. I gotta, gotta get them fed. Look how nice these black cars are. Bring them to the, see it? It's gotta be around 13, 14 inches already. I'm gonna go fast, I'm gonna go fast. See how, yeah, see how they're changing the colors? And you see later they'll be black again. And look what we got in too. That's the Lima Shovel Nose. Tropical Gar. And um, ghost, knife. ghost Knife. I don't think this is a Tropical Gar. No? No, this is some other type of Gar. Let's see, guys, on the comments below, let me know what type of Gar that is. Let's see who knows. Do you know? Well, I thought it was Tropical, so I guess not. Not Tropical. All right. Uh, this guy right here, it's pretty good colors on him. Look how pretty he is. Beautiful, right? Let's find a home for him. Perfect. Oh, he's hiding. That's all right. Oh, look how the other pikes came say hi. Friends. No, I don't think they're friends. I think they were trying to fight. Oh. Look how their face is like puffing up. Oh, this guy's face is huge. 
These guys are okay, they just relax. Hey, hey. You wanna try the scare shot here? You wanna try to scare her? Ready? Hey! <laughs> Come on, Sugar, get in, get in. I forgot about the dogs. Come on, get in. Sugar, get in. Sugar, Sugar, go back. Bella. Bella. Come on, Bella. Did I scare you? Good. All right, let's go. I didn't know that was a, a challenge. Of course. You, didn't, you said it after I picked him up. Well, I went to see. So that one is like you. I was going against it. <laughs> Perfect. We'll be on the website today, right? If we uh, if we do our job, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Let me know what you think about the system. Cheap, effective, and light. Look at that. Even, well, you're pretty strong. I was gonna say, even Lisa can carry it, but you're pretty strong. Um, and like I said, I can't wait to see what Kevin's gonna build to top this. But as far as being free, what? What? What happened? Oh, you look like you're hot. You're going like this. All right, guys, we did our best today. We did not argue, right? Uh, no. I don't think so. Did no, we? we did pretty good. So, for the sensitive Sally's out there, <laughs> Lisa and I, love. we have a different relationship that I hope a lot of you will get one day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end at that. Because if you don't argue, if you don't disagree, it's not true love. Remember that.